Hey everyone, Sid here with another quick video on the axial drift. I've been running this for quite some time and I've broken uh, quite a few parts to be honest like everyone else who wants the drift and especially these rod ends which are made out of plastic. I already went through a few of them and they are not being shipped from anywhere so I'm thinking of getting some aftermarket metal rod ends to replace these as the thing you don't have the parts in the Netherlands I've been waiting for one that I ordered for almost more than a month now but yeah but uh, mounting the shock on the rear axle that really helped to stop the torque twist as well as you know I added some lead weight around 100 grams in this fuel cell and packed it in quite well towards the bottom so that the center of gravity is a bit low and that also helped with the top twist now today i'm going to show you something that has been the main cause of this car crashing is the drag brake and i couldn't find a good video explaining that on how to reduce it and because of the drag brake whenever i used to go super fast on forest it used to stop abruptly and something some of this rod ends or some other screw somewhere would pop off because of that sudden jerk stop and I figured out how to stop it and that's through programming the ESC and uh, it's not complex but it's written in such a complex way and I don't know if I can sh show you so there's like a set button and power button there and what we do is we first power on the ESC using the power button And once the ESC is on, you need to press the set button until you see this green light flashing and leave it. Now this means the ESC is on for programming and you can go through the programming manual and set some things like the drag brake and the maximum brake force, maximum forward force, maximum uh, initial start mode. So guys, this is the axial manual and we have all the functions listed here and also how to get into the programming procedure. So make sure you have a look at this and download it online. So I will try to set the drag brake now. This is the first option. We need to go to the second one. So I just held the set button for around 2 seconds or 3 seconds and then left it. Now it's at number 2. And if I want to go into the setting, I need to keep the set button pressed until it turns red. Now it turned red and it's telling you how which number it's at. So it's at number 4 right now and we want it to be at zero so let's change that so now it's at five because i pressed again the cycle fast so usually you would count this to ensure which number you are but as i want to go to one i'm just cycling through this So now I'm at 1, which is 0 drag drag brake force, which I want to protect my car. And now to save this, you have to press again the set button and keep holding that. And you should see a green long beep and then you power off the ESC. And now it's set. So let's now check the drag brake. Powering it on. I'm doing this with one hand but I'm pretty grounded, the wheels are off the ground, you should always ensure that and I've set the throttle, I'm going to set it at 50 and now I'm going to test this, so let's see if there is any drag brake, the knob is at maximum, let's see, that is set uh, no drag brake at all. Awesome. 
so this is this is what i wanted so guys we're here with the rift again Okay, guys. Sorry, mommy. Hey, it's upright. <laughs> so, hello guys, I've been checking out the rift and wondering what kind of terrain is good for it. And uh, I think this kind of loose sand mud you know mountains they are good for it works quite well with them not gonna break a lot of pieces as well Ah, it came down myself. Right, <laughs> that's the that's the nice thing about open dips. Like I still got some breaking if I push the trigger back, but it doesn't break so hard that it breaks the parts. You know? Cool. <laughs> Let's see if it's straight. Yeah, landed on its feet. This is just so cool. Okay. Guys, as you can see, it's a completely different machine with the drag brake at zero. <laughs> that was good. And again, landed on its feet. See if we can get it down from here. So cool. <laughs> so freaking cool. Again landed on its feet. Ah. 
darf wirklich geil werden. And it's running on forest today. Back for Dennis for the slide for. So guys, if you want to save your rift and keep playing with it, keep doing the cool jumps, then go ahead and set your drag back break at zero that's going to take it a long way up I'm eating a lot of dust <laughs> but it's fun And I also reduce the maximum backing force because really don't need it to back at super high strength. It's more meant to go forward and up. Let's see. Let's try to do a long jump from here. I didn't quite have the speed. Let's try again. I think my tires are coming a bit loose. <laughs> Massive. This is why I absolutely love the rift. Still takes a break when I do the complete back throttle, but it doesn't do an engine brake anymore. So that's that's I think a bit much better. Oh, same so brake. Let's try again. You want to ride it? Right. No? So. That drag brake killed my <laughs> killed my car two times around all these 
nasty scratches you see on the body and uh, yeah there's a uh, bent bent uh, back support as well that's all because of this drag brake programming so i hope it helps someone else and uh, protect your if guys the parts are not available very soon that's what it seems like cheers